I have here some copper wool and looking at it we can see the very shiny familiar brown orange color of copper. We're going to put that into a flame and accelerate its reaction with the oxygen in the air and find out what happens. I've turned out the lights so that we can get a very good look at what happens when the copper goes into the flame. We should see the characteristic green color that you get from copper in a flame when I put this in, but it's going to go by very fast. If you blink, you might miss it. So here we go. So here is our copper after it has been through the flame. You can see over on this side, it's dark grayish, almost uh, getting near black. That's where the copper oxide has formed on the outside of the layer. Over on this side, we still have the bright, shiny, traditional copper color. That's where I was holding it with the tongs, and therefore that area did not have access to oxygen to partake in the reaction. The reaction we're dealing with here is between solid copper metal and oxygen gas from the air. And when those two get together, we know they're going to form the ionic compound copper oxide. And it turns out in the case of this reaction, the copper ions are in the plus two oxidation state. So a positive two charge from copper, a negative two charge from the oxygen ion gives us just one of each atom to form the copper oxide compound. That was quite clearly a grayish black solid from the first part of the video. And then this equation needs to be balanced. We need two moles of copper for every one mole of oxygen gas. And that will give us a product of two moles of solid copper oxide. 